Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be discussing about unit 1 in Python which is algorithms and flowcharts. Given a task, we are supposed to be writing a program and a particular program will have an algorithm. Now what is an algorithm? Algorithm is nothing but a step-by-step -step procedure to do a task. Consider if the task is to make coffee. We get milk, we add coffee powder to it and then we add sugar to it. We stir and then the coffee is served. So there is some, some series of steps that are followed. So to do any programming task also, so for example, to add two numbers or to print numbers from 1 to 20 or to print the marks of, uh, of a particular class. The any Anything that needs to be done, any task that needs to be done involves some series of steps. And that series of steps is nothing but an algorithm. So we what, what we do is when we have the task, we break it into smaller subtasks. And then we write the algorithm for it. The task will be broken into smaller tasks and that will help us to achieve the main goal. And for this only, we may, we write algorithms and flowchart. Writing a logical step-by-step -step method to solve the identified problem is called algorithm. An algorithm is a procedure for solving problems. The algorithm will include calculation, reasoning and data processing. That is depending upon the task that is in hand, the algorithm will include either some calculations or it can be reasoning or it could be some processing of data. Any algorithm will involve some uh, input process and output. That is I take an input, I process the input and give an output. Algorithms can be represented by natural language that is I uh, tell the steps and that in a natural language format and the other one is pseudocode. Pseudocode that is uh, it's not the actual programming language code but the name pseudo. Pseudo means false. So it's it is similar to a code but it is not in uh, the programming language code format. Instead, it is in the pseudocode format. And the last one is flowchart. We will read about the flowcharts also. So now, what is a flowchart? A flowchart is nothing but it's a visual representation of an algorithm. We humans perceive images very quickly. So a flowchart is a visual representation of the same. So a Flowchart is a graphical or pictorial representation of an algorithm and uh, it makes use of certain symbols, shapes and arrows. So for example, this, this figure, an oval is used to indicate the start and the end. An input or the output is indicated in a parallelogram. The processing happens in a rectangle. The decision making happens in the rhombus and to move from one step to the other step there are arrows. Consider if we have an example that is we want to convert the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So now this is the algorithm and this is the corresponding flowchart. The algorithm is first of all we should ask the user to enter the temperature in Fahrenheit. Then I should apply a formula. The formula is C is equal to 5 by 9 into F minus 32. This is the formula which will help me to convert the Fahrenheit temperature and what the, res the result that I will get will be in Celsius. And the last step is to print the value of the Celsius temperature. The flowchart will be there will be a start and an end which is the oval symbol. Now. When I am accepting some input from the user, it goes in a parallelogram. 
redev goes in a parallelogram processing that is i'm doing some computation calculation uh, or data processing that goes in a rectangle so i calculate c is equal to 5 by 9 into f minus 32 here this value gets computed and it will get assigned to c then with the next arrow i move to print c this is an output statement and input and output both are in parallelogram so this again goes in a parallelogram finally there is an end which is again in an oval consider another example if i want to print the numbers from 1 to 20 so it is not uh, it does not make any sense to write print 1 print 2 print 3 so instead what I will do here is I will initialize a value x as 0 and then I will uh, increment x by 1. I will print x. So now x is 1. Here if x is less than 20, here I am uh, checking. If x value is less than 20, yes it will be less than 20. Then go back to step 2. So here it will come to this step again and then x value will be 2 here. x value will then get printed. So on the screen I will see 2. If x is less than 20, yes 2 less than 20. Then go back to step 2. It comes over here. Uh, x gets incremented by 1 so it becomes 3. Prints a 3. 3 less than 20, yes the condition is true. So it again goes back to step 2 and this goes on till it is 20. Finally when it becomes a 20, is 20 less than 20? No it is not. So it will be the end. Now to represent the same in a flowchart format, there is a start. Initialize x equal to 0. So the uh, initialization see this is not an input I uh, there is no uh, input from the user so this is in a rectangle then here again I'm incrementing x by 1 incrementing x by 1 means initially it was 0 and now it will be a 1 0 plus 1 gives me a 1 I print the value of x. Here with the help of the flowchart, I, correct, I uh, know where to move next. The value of x gets printed and then here it will check if x less than 20. If it is less than 20, it will increment. It will go for this yes or no. A decision box has two arrows coming out from it. One for yes and the other one was will be the no branch. This is given in the diamond or the rhombus shape. Thank you.